How do you become a better soccer player? By working often and hard, on a variety of soccer drills of course. But how do you know exactly what type of exercises to focus on? This is something many coaches struggle with, as they watch their young players sometimes not just not making progress, but seemingly unlearning things they knew before. The problem here is usually a somewhat lacking understanding, from coaches and players alike, of what soccer drills and soccer skills really are. Because, although the terms are closely related, they are not one and the same. Simply put, the drill you are working on, may be too complex to have any real effect on the subcomponent skills that are involved. Classifying the different soccer training aspects into a training framework, is a helpful starting point for correcting the problem. In very broad terms the art of playing soccer could be boiled down to, technical skills. Such as passing, dribbling, shooting etc., physical conditioning. Involving exercises for speed, endurance, injury prevention etc., soccer vision training. Understanding what's going on, and developing an eye for the game. Especially in youth soccer, the main focus should naturally be on the first mentioned aspect. The world famous Coerva coaching method, depicts this foundational aspect of soccer training as a pyramid. Starting from the base they include, ball mastery, receiving and passing, moves, speed, finishing, and finally group attack. This is a very useful approach, where you go from practicing skills on an individual level to gradually involving more and more players. It also clearly demonstrates how ball control skills are the foundation of everything. And it is a natural way to simultaneously work on physical conditioning and soccer vision at the same time. Things can be broken down even further of course, and that is what you can learn more about in this section of the soccer training program's website. But to conclude this video, any other part of soccer training can be broken down into smaller elements in a similar fashion. For example, your soccer fitness training regimen could be broken down into injury prevention, coordination, speed and power, soccer specific training, nutrition and wellness and so on. And in my experience thinking about soccer training and soccer drills in the above manner isn't only of academic value. Quite the opposite. A clear road map of what you are doing, and where you are going, can be immensely useful both for you, both as a player as well as a coach. Now scroll down and read some of the guides about more specific soccer drills, listed at the bottom of this page.